Are you happy with your life? Do you like the person you've become? The person you've become. What if I told you you can change? You want to change? What if I told you, by learning a few simple techniques, you can alter your destiny? If you really want to change, then welcome to the beginning of the rest of your life. When it comes down to understanding the human mind, an iceberg is probably the best example to use. The tip of the iceberg is similar to our conscious, where logic and reason prevails. This amounts to about 10% of our mind's full potential. However, it is the 90%, our subconscious, that is really the most powerful part of our minds. Just like the iceberg, the tip is the visible part, where even the strongest winds can't move it. It is the unseen that makes the difference. It is the 90% that dominates the movement in life just like the currents are the actual forces that are able to move the iceberg. Imagine if you could explore the untouched regions in your mind. Imagine if you could control the currents and move the iceberg in the direction you want. What if I told you, you can harness this power? What if I told you, we know how to do this? There were three men from Texas who were good friends an environmentalist, a pastor, and a cowboy. Every year, they would get together and go on a holiday. One year, they decided to head out to the Grand Canyon, as they had never been there before. After a long drive, they arrived at a car park in front of a bridge overlooking the Grand Canyon. The pastor was the first to get out of the car. As he stood at the bridge to look at the view, he was mesmerized. He said, wow, this is one of God's greatest creations. Excitedly, he called out to his two friends to join him. The environmentalist got down and walked towards the bridge. When he saw the view, he was captivated by the view of the canyon. He said, this is one of nature's greatest wonders. Finally, the cowboy got down and joined them. When he saw the canyon, he said, Wow, that is one heck of a place to lose a cow. Though they saw the same thing, their thoughts on it were different. What about your life? How do you perceive things? This is what it's all about. When you change your perception, you change your life. Dr. Georgi Lozanov, a Bulgarian psychotherapist, developed a method called Suggestopedia. Lozanov gathered a group of people and exposed them to a list of verbs of a different language. Instead of being aggressive and forcing them to learn the verbs, Lozanov played classical music which created a soothing, relaxing atmosphere. When the course was over, Lozanov tested them again for what mastery, if any, they had of the language over the duration of the course. What he came to find was that they had attained up to a two to three year working vocabulary over the course of 21 days. Lozanov had discovered that by being in a relaxed state, we are able to absorb information better and faster. It all started when Jose Silva, in an act of love, decided to secure a better future for his 10 children. He studied and compiled theories from many sources, Lozanov being one of them, hypnosis being another, to come up with a method for memory enhancement. What was discovered in the process was that this method had the potential benefits of self-healing, overcoming insomnia, and changing perception. This method, we now know it as the Silver Method. Now the stories you're about to see involve real people who have taken the Silver Method course and have overcome their challenges. I've been asked today to give a little background on some of the successes, some of the experiences I've had with Silva. And that's really a tough task because there have been countless, countless examples. So on a personal note, I first got involved in Silva in 1971 and a friend of mine invited me to an introductory presentation. And admittedly, one part of me said, yes, I'm interested in this, this sounds great. And another part of me was really skeptical. But lo and behold, I went through this program called the Silver Method, where we learned to use more of our mind, more of our capabilities. And one of the first things that happened for me was, I used to suffer from headaches. I used to, in fact, need anison for headaches repeatedly. 
and almost immediately in my class, which was Memorial Day weekend, 1971, from that time forward, I stopped needing medication. After about 14 months, approximately, it's like I stopped getting the headaches. Uh, I was so depressed, and all my work is so hectic and uh, crumbling. So I need to uh, find uh, some momentum to recover from that kind of depressed situation. Yeah, I attending this class uh, around some two years ago, and I slowly realized it's uh, helping me out in every aspect of my life. Yes, but even that include uh, my from the, my basic my mind, uh, all my the health, and even my business. Yes, and whenever I practice the silver method, it dramatically reduced my stress level. Kane Samia was a straight A student all through high school, but he had a major problem: intense shyness. In class, Kane could never bring himself to raise his hand to ask questions. The thought of public speaking made him extremely nervous and fearful. To make matters worse, he was extremely poor at writing, and he would suffer anxiety attacks and his mind would literally go blank. But then one day, he received something in the mail, which would turn his life around. It was a Silva Method brochure. Without wasting any time, he contacted the center for more information. Kane applied what he learned from the Silva method into his daily activities, and soon he was able to tap into his intuition and insight. Kane soon discovered something truly amazing. He developed an ability to write, not just any ordinary piece of writing, but brilliantly inspired poetry, technical manuals, as well as newsletters. The Silva method had allowed him to discover and develop this ability. Soon, Kane became a prolific writer, but he still had one problem, the fear of public speaking. Then, in 1996, the success story of how he overcame his inability to write was chosen as the winning story for the 30th anniversary convention of Silva in Amarillo, Texas. He was to speak to a large audience, and he had less than a month to overcome his fear of public speaking. Using the Silva method again, Kane was able to overcome his fear of public speaking. Incredibly, Kane delivered his paper at the Silva Anniversary Convention as though he had been doing it professionally for years. Today, Kane is now a master at writing and public speaking, thanks to the Silva Method.